<laughs> so there's recently been like this increase of uh, just activity, I guess. Chatter, they call it, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was given notice by YouTube that there's been a lot of um, reports that my videos are just not right, yet they've kept them all, except for like the one about me eating dirt. <laughs> Somebody reported me for eating dirt on one of my videos saying it was, you know, life-threatening. <laughs> I made that video about it, right? A few months ago, but... So, I mean, I'm, 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 I guess I'm this activist, right? I mean, obviously I ran for Congress and I've been very uh, outspoken about children's rights, you know, a child who's in a womb should be also given the right to choose if he or she wants to live or die. <laughs> Abortion should be illegal in America, like, as it is in many countries. Of course, those countries are very, you know, prosperous, too. So, uh, well, wow, what are the odds? Um, and, you know, I don't, I, 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 I've seen people going into the clinics. I haven't seen anything with regard to the human trafficking stuff, thank God. But you hear about it, and it's like, oh, hello. And, of course, I talk about how it's in the marriages. Marriage. It's the man buying the woman. And the women are raised to, you know, in the churches and the religions to, you know, be bought by a man. But, yeah, apparently I, I really invoked some things recently because, yeah, there's been this increase of, chatter and, and things and <laughs> threats against me. Um, false accusations. Uh, this issue with regard to um, needles and drugs. You want to go? You want to go? Alright. I don't know if we've ever had a bigger like like I guess like you would say defined isolated I mean, in this one specific thing, incident, with regard to there's such a big state of emergency in this country as it relates to the opioid crisis. I mean, you know, these these pills and people say, well, it pastors especially, oh, well, just a little bit of poison won't damage you, right? Just one, you know, a pill here or there is, is, is hey, you know, now the, the, the right to life people say, well, you know, abortion in certain cases, you know, rape and incest and victim causes dan damage or harm to the mother, the life of the mother. Tim Tebow is a good example of this, you know, he was, his mother was threatened with her life regarding the birth of him, and of course they're both just fine, but it's just off the subject a little bit. I'm telling you, you know, pills, well, you don't need pills, okay? So I guess there's Oxycontin and Percocets. Why are these things even, like, allowed in our country? <laughs> Um, there's never, never a time for these things, okay? Never a time for your needles. Oh, but sometimes you might need it. No. I mean, I have, like, I don't know, what was that, 32 teeth or whatever? Isn't there a reason why we have teeth? And then, of course, you swallow things to drink, water. Um, I cannot emphasize enough how, you know, ridiculously serious this opioid crisis thing is. You want to go? Let's go. Let's talk about this. Why are you being so quiet about it? Why are you so quiet about human trafficking in Congress? And and I called out Mike Pence, you know, what, 10 years ago, talking about how gas prices are going up. We got to stay in here till the lights go off, and we stay in here even until we, we get these gas prices back up again. Opioids. Come on. Seriously? People are being addicted to these things, and then they're doing heroin and Meth and the needles and everything. Where are they learning this stuff? Come on. And, and here, here, I'm the gentle, kind man. And it's it's coming back on me because I'm a bad guy because I'm loving people to, to life. Live. Enjoy life. Enjoy sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 